Hi guys and welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at a new exciting animation tool called ABC Animate. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the ABC website and search for Animate or go to abc.com forward slash games forward slash animate. Once you load up you might have a new old project there but we're going to start new. And now from here, what I'm going to do first is change the background. So I can click on the three lines at the bottom right corner, and I get the option to edit background. And I can see lots of different backgrounds, maybe some trees, and there's an arrow there, I can see some more, uh, some cities, or this farm here I'm going to use. Once you've chosen a background, you can look at the stickers, and there's lots of characters to choose from, there's some cars, some robots, Keep looking some animals, uh, some underwater animals, some aliens. I'm going to choose this little guy and I can move him wherever I want, make him bigger or smaller. Now to make him animate, what I really do is just make copies of the same image and make them move each time. So to do that I'm going to right click on the frame number one and then I'm going to click on copy. And in the second frame I'm just going to move him a little bit and you can see that when I go between 1 and 2, it looks like he's moving. And I'll do the same for 3. So 1, 2, 3, it looks like he's moving along the screen. And on the fourth one then, I can add some text. So there's the AA there. And I can choose some text I'm going to add here. And this might be my call to action. Did you know? And I can click on the color palette there maybe a different color and I can use the arrow mark to move it up a little bit higher. I've also got some shapes I can add. I might add a little rectangle whoa, just so it can go behind my text. Yeah, it looks like it's covering it up. Oops. Get my arrow tool again and this will basically help me to see the text. I'm going to put it behind, I'm going to click on the arrow and click on the arrange option. But first let's change the colour of my box, there we go, we can see it. Maybe a blue colour, no I think I like the pink, so I'll go back to the pink and straighten them up and there we go. So I've got my character and his words here and now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to right click copies and this time on the fifth one I can change the text and I might say something on climate change maybe uh, the planet is warming at an alarming rate excellent I'm going to take a copy of that and do it one more time each time I'm copying it I might change the text so if it increases by two degrees, degrees, make that a little bit smaller so it fits in the box. Sometimes I need my arrow tool there. Oops, just need to change the color back and get my arrow, and there we go, nice and straight. Copy again. This time, then the North and South Pole will melt, or could melt. And let's do copy again. <laughs> and then we would live, then we would all live underwater. This is going to be a short animation. Copy that. Uh, let's have a bit of fun. Let's make him go underwater. I can edit my background to an underwater scene. Maybe I'm going to draw a sad face on him. I can use the pen tool. And there you go. I can draw oh, a sad face on him. If I use my arrow tool and I grab them all together, I can group them. So when I move him, both the line moves as well as him. Copy that. And this time I'm going to make it move a little bit up in the air. 
maybe rotate them around, keep copying, and make small movements every time I copy. Copy, and then rotate, copy, copy and rotate, a couple more times, copy in each scene every time I do that. and then he disappears from the screen. And finally, I might leave my audience with a message. And you can add any text here. If you don't want any characters at all, that's fine. And there we go. One more copy. Excellent. So that's my short animation. Let's see what that looks like all together. Wow, that looks fun, but it's a little bit too fast. So I'm going to the settings and I can slow down the payback, playback speed. Speed and try again. Mm, looks fun, but it's still a little bit too fast. So what I can do is make extra copies on each of the text here. So on slide five, I might make this five times and each one I might copy it a few more times, maybe five each time, so it has a bit more longer without us reading too fast. And there's my animation. Okay, when I'm done with my animation, I can click on the three bars again and click on Save Animation. And if I'm on a Mac, a little window should pop up like this, and I can choose Desktop and Save. If it's on an iPad, I can make sure it's saved in my files, or I can share, save to my gallery and then I can upload that on Seesaw or wherever it needs to go. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.